Pete from Cheap Homes Dadding, and today we are going to be working on a biodigester. I've been wanting to make a biodigester for years, but you know, we got lots of projects going on around here, and I kind of get distracted, and I don't always get back to the projects uh, in a timely fashion. So um, that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to make a biodigester out of an IBC tote. A biodigester is something that takes basically garbage, uh, you know, like kitchen scraps. Uh, weeds out of the garden you chop it up real fine you throw it in here and there's a kind of slurry in here with uh, cow manure and uh, it has its whole ecosystem going on in there and it basically uh, digests the material and you get uh, material like a fertilizer out of it as you put more stuff in more liquid has to leave uh, but out of the top of the tank, you're going to get natural gas, uh, biogas, basically. And you can run a burner off it. You can run uh, combustion gas engines off it. It gives you another option for some alternative fuels. If uh, fuel is in short supply and you have a grid down situation, um, my goal is to collect some gas off here. And I don't know how much I can collect, but I'll kind of learn with one. And if I need to make two, three, four more after, I can do that. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a biodigester. As you can see, I started this project last year and I decided to uh, paint it um, and let it uh, dry. So then in the winter, I can make the project. I never got around to it and uh, the paint all peeled off. So I guess I should have sanded it. So I basically think what I'm going to do is actually start making the biodigester and then we'll give it a coat of paint after, let it harden. Uh, basically what it is, is you're going to have one pipe through here that goes to the bottom. It'll be the feed pipe where you put all your material and stuff in through. The opposite corner is basically going to be the pipe that comes up and it collects the gas. And I think... I'm going to install my overflow. I'm going to drill a hole here and hopefully I can drill around it uh, so we can get rid of this. Um, so what it's going to happen is when I shove it in here, it's going to shove a certain amount out here and then we'll collect it and we can use it for liquid fertilizer. So we hopefully won't have to buy fertilizer and it'll be an ongoing state of just making more fertilizer, more gas and getting rid of uh, just kitchen scraps and stuff like that. So, so we're going to start on the biodigester. So I have two inch uh, conduit that I got for free. Uh, the guy had it behind his house for a long time and then he set it out at the road and I happened to be going by right when he was trying to get rid of it and I got a whole bunch of it. So that's been coming in handy over the years. Um, so first we're going to cut uh, three pieces of that two inch conduit and it's basically going to be four feet high so they'll stick out of the top of the tank about yay high. So I'm going to put the uh, the port to push the uh, biomaterial in here. The very far corner over there, I'm going to install the um, where the gas comes off. And then we're going to drill a hole here for uh, where the slurry comes out. So we're going to drill the holes. If I was organized, I would have actually borrowed the, um, the hole saw set from work, but I didn't didn't think of it and today I just decided I'm going to do this and uh, I looked around and I got this antique uh, universal hole saw it's actually kind of cool I think it's going to work good for this it's only plastic so uh, the only problem is, is the biggest size I have and it's just the right size I think um, so if it needs to be bigger I'm going to be grinding or something well, let's see if it works My goodness, is this drill, this drill is dull. It won't drill through plastic. Okay. <laughs> kind of stuck. There we go. So now we are gonna sand the edges down. So I have a two inch uniseal 
coupler. Let's see if we can get this to fit in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, okay, so that's ain't gonna fit. Hey, so that didn't work. We're gonna take a soup can and heat up the edge and then burn the hole. You know what? Don't breathe in this stuff. This stuff will be toxic. Um, and I don't even know if I recommend doing this, but I'm doing it. I wanna finish the project. Ooh, the, the can is hot. There we go. Something happened. Wow, that's hot. There we go. So one hole down, we got three more to go. Okay, so there you go. That's not really that half bad. And I didn't find that the fumes were too bad either. Okay, so they have these uniseals. Uh, this is a two inch uniseal. So it basically goes in and it's a big grommet to seal the top. You wanna make sure that it keeps all the oxygen out. This first pipe is actually going to be the one that uh, puts the food into the tank. So we are going to cut. So we are going to cut it basically on an angle like that. Um, so when the food comes down the pipe, it can actually enter the biodigester. <laughs> Gonna sand the sharp edges off so we don't wreck the uni seal when it goes in. Okay, so we're gonna use like a little bit of Dawn detergent. Put it on the uni seal. We're gonna put a bit on here. And we are gonna try to shove this in while turning it. That fit perfectly. And then it goes right down to the bottom of the tank. There we go. So this is gonna be the gas outlet pipe. We're gonna to have to make the hole at least an inch, inch and a half below here. We're gonna to have to drill a hole two inches just below the top here. And I think it's gonna be better if I can just measure it exactly. Wow, that's tough getting that in. There we go. Okay, so that's the bottom. We're gonna mark here. Pull it out. Oh, easier said than none. I guess I can just drill the hole right here. So somewhere here. up the edge I'm gonna put a little bit of soap around here I'm gonna shove it down through here 
Okay, so now we're gonna do the slurry pipe. So this is where the fertilizer comes out and it is going to be about halfway down the tank. So it's gotta be somewhere about here. Um, so it'll push the slurry out. Okay, so now, Okay, so I'm going to measure it. So basically to the top of here, it's 40 inches. So I have to drill a hole at about 20 inches. Okay, so we have to uh, drill it at about 20. So I'm going to go a little bit higher than that. So it's the bottom of the hole. So now that we got the pipes all installed, we're gonna install the slurry tank. Uh, I was looking at a guy on uh, YouTube and he said you needed to put a, um, a T at the top or what would happen is it would actually cause suction and would drain the tank. So we don't want that. We're not gonna glue anything in case we have to take it apart. on there okay so a normal 20 liter pail I want it to just be above that so I need that at 35 and a half inches so there you go fasten it here so it doesn't move around but the bucket fits there so I think that's going to work for my uh, slurry dump off my idea is to install this here this is going to be our next piece and then we'll have a cap after we're done filling it we tighten it and everything should be relatively sealed good I didn't want my vent on my tea to fill up with water and fill my biodigester too full. So what I'm going to do is drill holes in here for my vent. So I need to get a way to get the gas out. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole in here and we're going to screw the um, barb fitting on. I've seen some that they have uh, taps that can shut off. I'm just going to pinch the line uh, to stop the gas from coming out whenever we disconnect or reconnect. Um, so that's what we're going to do, just drill a hole in there. Uh. Watch out for wasps, they're living in my wall. Okay, so then that goes on there and that is where the gas is gonna come out. So what I've read, when you have a biodigester, you need to keep it dark inside the tank because something happens to it if, um, if it gets sunlight. So you keep it dark. So last fall I painted it, but you can see how well that worked. It all came off, so I think I'm going to give it a light sanding and we're going to try to paint it again and see if uh, it'll stick a little bit better this time. So I can almost guarantee the paint's going to peel off again, but I'm just going to spray paint it again uh, so I can actually start the biodigester. By this fall, I'm gonna to try to wrap it in some sort of insulation 
and then we're gonna cover it in a black cover of some sort. I don't know exactly what happens, but it does affect the actual process and you don't get um, methane gas off it, you get something else. So, so we're just gonna spray paint it and that should get us into the fall anyways. So there you go, my biodigester is all painted up. I wouldn't look too close, there's lots of drips, but it's uh, more functionality than actually uh, the way it looks. I think it came out pretty decent. As soon as it's dry, we're gonna take it down near the greenhouse. So there you go, the biodigester is done. It's painted and we're gonna let it dry a little bit. I'm gonna take it down to the greenhouse and get that all set up. We still have to start firing it up. I gotta get some manure, throw it in it, uh, some plant material and get everything running. Uh, probably, I think they said in two months, it'll start really producing gas. So I'm hoping by fall, we'll be able to pull some uh, biogas off it and like, try to run a burner or whatever. At least the project's done. And hopefully uh, by fall, we'll have this thing totally running and uh, doing great. So, but that's about enough for today. You guys have a good one.